all this for free. This is the special offer the little shop of kindness makes to new immigrants here in New York City. For example, for my daughter, I have this shirt. It's almost summer season, God willing. Luz came to the U.S. from Colombia with her husband and two children. It's her first time at the shop. How does she feel about it? Very, very grateful, really. Because you come here as an immigrant and you don't have anything. I'm very grateful for the way they take care of you, for the help that they give. The Little Shop of Kindness was founded by Ilsa Tillman in 2022. Besides providing much-needed material help to immigrants, it is exactly this kind of positive experience that she wanted to give those who come here. I was really uh, determined to create a space where they could, where our guests could, have some agency over what they chose, to, to, to have the dignity of trying things on and, and being treated as valued customers rather than a problem. Ilza started the shop in response to a surge in immigrant arrivals to New York in 2022. Many of them bust to the city from southern states. About 175,000 of them have arrived since then and are being accommodated in makeshift shelters across the city. We started getting uh, busloads of migrants sent here by the governor of Texas. And we just rallied the troops and got, you know, lots and lots of volunteers. We started with about 10 volunteers um, in August, and by December we had 800 people signed up to help out with that. And we have only grown since then. Over 1,000 volunteers have registered online by now and keep the shop running. They handle the donations from individuals and companies and provide help to guests many of whom don't speak English. Doris is originally from Colombia and came here to study English. In her free time, she helps out at the shop. I've always loved to be able to help. In my country, I did it too. And here I had the opportunity to do it, so here I am, giving this beautiful service to so many people. This personal support and the welcoming atmosphere have made the shop popular amongst new immigrants. So much so that it started causing problems. We, um, we used to have a line out in front of our shop and, we, and in front of our uh, pop-ups. And people were so desperate that oftentimes people would sleep outside the night before outside the shop so they could be first in line. Now, people can simply sign up and book an appointment through an app. Most of the shop's guests are from Latin America, but now more and more come from African countries and China as well, Ilsa says. With immigration being front and center of this year's election campaign, she says she is worried about the increasingly extreme rhetoric used against immigrants. Just the election itself and the campaigns, it's, it's going to um, intensify around immigration. Um, and I'm hoping that it, you know, that people um, recognize that immigrants are a, an asset to this country and don't believe the lies that are being told about them. The contentious immigration debate will continue to shape U.S. politics beyond the election. But local initiatives like Ilza's shop will continue to make a difference with the little acts of kindness.